Whispers about Whitney Houston's troubles began to surface shortly after she appeared in this Michael Jackson tribute concert. So how do you know about to not forget I die? Looking rail thin, the appearance fueled rumors that her health was rapidly declining. She defiantly denied those rumors in this infamous 2002 interview with Diane Sawyer, insisting that she didn't have an eating disorder and didn't have a crack addiction. Whitney dying. Crack rehab fails. First of all, let's get one thing straight. Crack is cheap. I make too much money to ever smoke crack. Let's get that straight, okay? We don't do crack. We don't do that. Your crack is whack. This says $730,000 drug habit. This is a headline. Come on. 730? I wish. <laughs> no, I wish you ever was making that money off of me and share it with me. <laughs> No way. No way. Still, she admitted to battling other demons. Is it alcohol? Is it marijuana? Is it cocaine? Is it pills? It has been. At times. All? At times. If you had to name the devil for you, the biggest devil among them? That would be me. Houston also had a turbulent marriage to singer Bobby Brown. Married in 1992, some pointed to their relationship as a primary source of Houston's troubles. Houston publicly denied that Brown abused her. Has he ever hit you? No, he's never hit me, no. I hit him. In anger. Bobby! 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 That marriage and her erratic behavior eventually became reality show fodder on Bravo's Being Bobby Brown. But that show did little to burnish her reputation. We gotta live with SARS. We gotta live with not what the anthrax. Uh-uh. Oh, you just watch too much TV. Kiss my ass! In her later years, Houston attempted something of a comeback. She divorced Bobby Brown and released an album in 2009 that debuted at number one on the Billboard charts. But her tour was reportedly plagued with vocal difficulties. And in 2011, her publicist admitted Houston was seeking help for addiction. Before her death, Houston was still trying to rehabilitate her image. She completed another movie, Sparkle, speaking about it with the TV show Extra. I think over the years, being a mother, uh, the marriage to mother, the whole thing, you know what I'm saying, um, I have matured in so many ways. And... My daughter is my greatest inspiration. She has trained me for this role. <laughs> she has trained me. She trained me good. Randy Kay, CNN, Atlanta. Is cool. that she was having this fabulous life and was pretty squeaky clean. Uh, and then she meets Bobby Brown and it all goes horribly wrong. And he's the guy that got her into drugs and so on. And then she has this terrible end to her life, which is at the end of that downward spiral. Is that true? I mean, you knew her well. You knew her lifestyle before she met Bobby Brown. Is that true? Well, I, I can say this, that we were all around a lot of drugs and um, that she had, I, I hate to say that she had started before uh, she had, had met Bobby Brown. You see, I think that's important. Um, simply for the background to how Whitney ended up in the situation that she ended up in because it, it, it is a, a presumed assumption that the bad guy in all this is Bobby Brown but as Shaka Khan sort of hinted to me and you sort of confirmed it with that detail is that yeah. it, it may have been more complex that Whit Whitney it was, was a strong we, it was woman. around it was around us all and and at that time when Whitney had started uh, and had become a star in the 80s um, we were just around it all, and, and there in New York, uh, the AIDS epidemic had begun to take over, and in New York, it wiped out not only the Broadway community, but it wiped out a, quite a few of uh, Whitney's friends, um, especially her piano player, which she adored, and she treated mm -hmm. so wonderfully and loving and warm, and that's, I got to see her again, that, that light. Um, but it, it, had, it had begun. We were around it. Um, and I, you know, I don't want to call names of people that were around her at that time. They may all speak themselves and begin to be, be honest uh, 
about uh, some of the things that were going on uh, back at that time. 